Hey, 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 happy Monday morning. I'm Angie Rose with Angie Rose Health Coaching, and I'm here to talk with you today and do my Monday mojo or my Monday motivational video. I hope you all had a good weekend, was rested up, and had some time to enjoy life, get outside a little bit. I did, uh, worked in the yard just a little bit. Not always my favorite thing, but I'm going to be honest, I'm trying to learn how to like this because it's important <laughs> and it's a good activity, right? So uh, getting out and loving life and just, I don't know, guys, like I'm excited. Spring is officially here. Things I was thinking about as I was driving to work today, you know, the trees are budding. The grass is starting to turn green. Not quite mine. That's also why I was thinking about it. I need to get out and start watering my lawn. But I love this time of year. It just feels so fresh and it feels new. And I don't know. I just love it. So I hope you guys do too. So today, guys, I want to talk with you just a little bit about change. You know, I think there are two sides of the coin when it comes to change. Usually there is the person who changes everything all the time quickly, doesn't think it through, <laughs> or they do and they're constantly changing things. Uh, and then there's the other side of the coin of people who absolutely hate change and would rather stay where they're at doing what they're doing no matter what, whether they're happy or not. And, you know, the truth of the matter is change is absolutely guaranteed. It's going to happen whether you choose to roll with it or not. But here's the thing that I titled my topic today. Change is guaranteed, but progress isn't. All right, that's the topic today. Progress isn't guaranteed. You know, all of us have to roll with the punches of life and things that come at us. We don't have a lot of control over that. The one thing we do have control over is whether we choose to make progress in this journey we call life, right? So, you know, I heard this and it was just like a huge motivator for me because I do change things a lot. I am always looking for the next thing. What am I going to do next? What am I going to teach next? Which workout am I going to do next? What is the next thing? Because I get bored pretty easily, but my biggest thing that I want to get out of anything that I'm adding new into my life is progress. Am I moving forward? Am I bettering myself? Is my body changing? Am I healthier today than I were, was yesterday? Um, am I stretching my brain? Am I making myself think? Those are things for me that are progress um, that just keep me moving forward, right? So this says there was a, a teaching I was listening to the other day. And the person that was teaching us said this, and I thought, this is a huge epiphany if people will really get this. So it said, this person, she said, change is going to happen no matter what. It's up to you to decide whether that change will be progress. Okay? So, wow. Just wow. Like, this is your choice. You know, so many of us kind of get stuck in this, and I hear me out, okay? Like, some of us get stuck in this victim mentality of poor me, there's so many bad things happening, and I don't have the ability to change it. And you're probably right. You're probably right. There are a lot of things you don't have the ability to change, but you have the ability to ask yourself, what am I going to learn through this? What am I going to change through this? And how am I going to grow through this. That's progress, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm always, as I said, looking for the next thing and what I want to accomplish. And so that is the question I have for you is like, what do you actually want to accomplish this year? Have you thought past today? Have you thought past this week or even this month? You know, with running a business, of course, I have to always be thinking ahead about what I want to do differently, what I can do better, what's the next thing. But, you know, the reality of it is I, I could just keep doing the same thing I'm doing because it is working and I am making money, but I want to not be stagnant. And I think that is where a lot of us get stuck is as long as it's comfortable, 
and what we're doing is working in this moment, we're not thinking ahead, okay? So for example, I want you to think about, or if I'm, I'm thinking about and doing, I have made the decision, and I put a little bit of this on my website, but I haven't talked a lot about it. I enrolled in a training program called Revelation Wellness. This is a faith-based workout program that is training me to start building workouts so that I could become a fitness instructor. Um, I would have never said to you, even 15 years ago, 10 years ago, or even five years ago, that this is something that I would want to do, because I always saw this as something I would hire out for, and I have, I've tried it, and you know, it worked, but it didn't work, and so we're right back in the same boat again in my business that I have decided I'm going to take a step, I am going to make some progress in that part of my business by adding something new uh, and fresh, not only for my business, but for me. And I think this is for some people where they get stuck, like how we get stuck in the how, when, where, why, why would I do that when I can hire somebody else or I can go somewhere else and have somebody else do this for me. But the truth of the matter is, guys, there are so many things. I just want to say this. I feel like there's people who will be listening to this later, but there are so many things that God has for you in your life that are such a step in the right direction if you would just get past fear. Okay? So... For me, the fear of not doing this when I first moved over into my biggest, bigger building was time. How am I going to do that? When am I going to do that? Why would I do that? I'm a health coach. Why do I need to be a fitness coach? Why, why, why? And I get, we get stuck a lot of times because of fear of not knowing, not knowing how, not knowing when, not knowing why. When in reality, if we would stretch ourselves and take that step of faith that there is one more thing that God has for us that will actually shift up how we're feeling about our life and more than likely in a positive manner, um, if we would look at life that way and ask God, what is the next step? Sometimes we just get kind of stuck in what is our next step? But I know with this next certification that I'm doing, this Revelation Wellness that I'm actually now super excited about. Like I kind of did it begrudgingly, like, oh, there's just one more thing on my plate. And now I've only got to think two weeks of training left and then my certification, it was a nine week course. I have to be honest with you, I'm super excited. <laughs> so I just want you to know, like just because something's scary or just because something is change, or it's out of your norm doesn't mean it's out of the possible for you, okay? Because sometimes we just have to take that first step to move forward and see what the next thing is, okay? So if you could look back, I want you to think about this. If you could look back on a six to eight or a week or even a three month timeline and say, I did that. I followed through and I accomplished it. What would that be for you? I mean, it doesn't have to mean you go take a class. I mean, maybe it does, but maybe there's just something, one thing you just need to follow through on and do it over and over and over again to help feel that accomplishment to keep you moving forward. Okay. So I just have to say that this realization of taking that step lit a fire under my butt. I'm super stoked about workouts right now. I'm super excited about worship music because the classes I do will be based on worship music and time to be seeking God while we're working out. Believe it or not, it's something a little different that maybe you don't know about or you haven't seen before. But as I began to take this class, it just, it opened the possibility for me of seeing outside of what I thought something should look like and what I was capable of to what was the bigger picture and what God had for me. So I hope this speaks to your heart today. It could be something as simple as just starting to walk every day or eating healthier or taking that time in the morning to pray and meditate and set that time aside just to quiet your soul before the Lord. 
I don't know what that is for you guys, but what I want you to think about is it doesn't have to be complica complicated. It can be just one thing that you start with. I kind of go gung-ho. When I do stuff, I just do stuff, but God has given me grace to do that, and I, I, I finish it, and so I'm excited about the things that I do, but I started where you are, where it was just one thing at a time, and if it meant just getting a workout in that day, then that was the things I, were, I was focused on. So figure out for me and for you what it is you need to focus on and follow through with and remain consistent and constant for a season to further you and create progress in your life that you're going to be able to look back and say, I did that. It's a pretty cool concept and man, does it empower you and encourage you and motivate you when you can just pick one thing and follow through and finish it or, or see progress within that. All right. So if this is something that you really do struggle with, I just want you to know, like, I love helping people make these commitments, walk through, keep you accountable and help you to stay focused when life gets hard or it's easy to want to quit or step back. Okay, so I do have my health coaching program. I also have my life coaching program. And soon enough, it'll be a couple months, but I'll have my fitness coaching program uh, called Revelation Wellness that will be kicking off. But in the meantime, I can help you with weight loss, with eating, with lifestyle, with some inner healing and walking through to say, I did that. All right, so give the office a call at 308-850-2419. You can set up a one hour free with me, with, with me, with Kelsey. Kelsey, well, I might answer the phone this week because our sweet Kelsey's going on vacation. Ooh. So it'll be a kind of crazy week this week, but uh, one of us will get you set up for that appointment. But I would love to answer any questions you might have. Let today be the day, guys, that you start moving forward. Don't stay stagnant, don't stay stuck, okay? But make that choice to do something today, all right? Make some progress, and I will plan on seeing you next week. Bye.